Namaste, welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to my beautifully lit, prosperous, and protected YouTube. Here on this YouTube, I like to do different spiritually related videos and content. If y'all be enjoying the vibes, the messages here, make sure you hit the subscription button down below. If you're returning, what's good? If you're new, what's poppin'? Make sure you hit the post notification bell as well so you're always alerted when I'm uploading to the channel. Okay. But yeah, this is going to be a channel message for the new moon cycle. Got a new moon. I think the new moon was from the Gregorian calendar standpoint. Um, I think it was on the, um, I forget, I think it was like the 12th or something like that. Okay, time is fluid. Okay, so it's constantly moving, so don't be stuck in time. It's it's truly an illusion, okay, <sighs> to the bigger picture. Okay, so welcome in, everybody. If you came here, obviously, your soul led you here, needed you to hear some sort of message that was coming out, okay? Well, let's get into the vibrations here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides. Show me what I need to see. Okay, so before I even start flipping the cards, um, I want to also thank you for joining. But before I start flipping the cards, y'all, the message that I had got was that this is a state of being, not doing. It's like a is versus isn't. So either you is or you ain't. You know, something like that. Um. Also, I got, uh, you're not serving two masters right now. It's like you have one master, but it's connect. It's connected to the all. If that makes sense. Um, also, another channel message was um, for this new moon. I was channeling that um, there's some demons that were. Um, I want to say these demons try to like once jump you or attack you. It's like these demons are now fleeing, y'all. Two, two, two. <laughs> it's it's because of your divine purpose and where you're going, right? Um, and you really leveled up at this time, and you really showing who you are. So I think energies are just scared, you know, when it comes to you. These demonic energies are really afraid of you, um, and your power, and where you're going, and all these things. Right? It is intimidating. It's an intimidating factor. Okay, is what I'm getting. So, good job to you. Kudos to you for defeating those um, malicious demons here. Okay, those of us out here getting this new moon message. But let's go ahead and jump into it. I want to get the overall energies of what's really going on. This deck here is a cosmic... Where is the deck? Cos I think it's a cosmic dancer oracle. Okay. But let's go ahead and jump into it here. Ancestors, guys. Holy Spirit, <clears throat> show me what it is I need to see. Thank you. Wow, we got be magnetized, be fluid, honor the process, feel, and clear the vessel. I want to take all of these messages just because I know they didn't flip out for coincidence. <laughs> okay, they definitely flipped out because this is kind of like a vibration here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The first one we got out is honor the process. Truly, we have out clear the vessel. That's number one. Spirit needs you to clear the vessel. I feel like whatever you've been doing, it's like you've been clearing your vessel. You've been clearing yourself. You've been Whether it's your mind, spirit, mind, body, soul, you're clearing your vessel. It's like you're learning how to honor the process and what you're in right now. Okay. And it's bringing a divine change. Okay. Into your life. <coughs> Feel like you're being more fluid these days and remember i said that energy it's like it's intimidating it's because you're magnetizing so it's like the energies that used to pile up against you it's you're magnetizing and now attract the energies to like protect you also we have our feel so it's like this new moon is asking you like what do you feel connect to that okay <laughs> yeah, let's get into it, y'all. 
I feel like a lot of us, we've been feeling a lot of different things lately. And I don't know. I, I feel like mm, it hasn't been quite easy to describe, like, how either how you feel or um, the feelings that you are feeling, the emotions, the whatever it is. But Spirit is saying, fill that out, you know, allow it, right? Um, so that you can grow. Okay. Let's get some tea leaf messages here. What is clear the vessel? Tankard. Hmm. Com celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yeah. So while you are clearing the vessel, Spirit wants you to know with this new moon, celebrate. Have fun and just be in the spirit of enjoyment. Okay. What is honor the process? We got two for that. Great personal sorrow. Honor the process. Some of you guys are like crying and it's like these tears are part of honoring the process. Okay. These tears are also you feel like it's like sorrow. Because I feel like some of the sorrow is, is because you realize that you're not just the flesh. We also have about, um, with honor the process, parent. Someone will gossip about, gossip about all your secrets. So I feel like this is like people, they're gossiping. They're talking about where you are in your development. And that could be painful for some of you guys, especially like if you feel that you've been holding back secrets or you've been holding back these parts of you. Okay, honor it, allow it, be fluid. Just feel it, be magnetized, allow it to be. Okay, because it is what it is. I feel like some people just be hating on us sometimes, you know, and that's real shit. But see, they want somebody to talk about, but not realizing, look, talk, they, what they talking about is our growth. What they can't stop talking about is our growth, how much we're growing, how much we're not the same person that we were yesterday. You know, so these are good things. Honor it. And for some of us, yes, it's, it may give us um, personal sorrow, sorrow. And that's fine. Honor that, you know. Position of authority thrown. This is what just fell out. I'm telling you, as these people gossip, as these people speak on your name. This is actually putting you into your ascended position of the throne, onto the throne, okay, onto the throne, the position of authority in your life that you were looking for. So, honor the process, okay, let them talk, is what I'm hearing, okay. Hmm, that's very interesting. What is be fluid? Pay attention to your finances. Some of you guys, with this uh, new moon here, Spirit wants you to pay attention to your finances. How are you spending? Okay. What is be fluid? What is be fluid? Damn. <clears throat> Let me just take this one. It says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Unicorn. Okay. How was your spending? Take a look at that. To help you be more successful also. Because some of you guys, I feel like, I don't know. I'm hearing you're reaching more money than you have ever reached before. And you might not be used to this type of money or something like that. This amount of money. This may be way more than what you're normally used to. Okay? But get ahead of it. You know? Get financial... Um, Get somebody to help you financially. You know, those people do exist out there and they are great with helping you with that. Okay. Let me just put this back. Be magnetized. What is be magnetized? Wealth and success. I feel like you're that's what you're attracting. As you're being more magnetized, you're attracting success and wealth into your life. Okay, with this new moon, I need y'all to know that. You're attracting so much success and wealth. That's what I'm saying. It's like, y'all is going to be touching so much money that you're going to need a financial planner. I'm serious. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Feel. What is feel? <laughs> feel. What is feel? Hat. You would be playing a different role. So, some of you guys, 
this is a much different role than what you're used to playing. What is Phil? What is Phil here, Holy Spirit? You're, you're playing a much different role than what you're used to playing. Also, you have our rat. Someone is working against you behind your back. Remember I said? Those energies that were working against you behind your back, it's like they... They could be... So for some of you guys, we got the desk at the, bottom, at the back of the deck. It's like... Some of these people could be like people that you work with. I think people are trying to make you do something that you don't want to do. They're trying to make you, uh, they're trying to make you work, go against your own will or your own, what it is that you want. <laughs> Silly wabbits. Anyways, let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. You know, it's crazy because people will try to knock you off of your path not knowing Whatever they doing might actually just put you right where you need to be. You know? You know how that happens? Sometimes people would think like, oh, I'm blocking somebody or I'm, I I can make them do this or, or have this adverse effect. And in all actuality, you're just going to be going in the direction that you were meant to go. Regardless. <laughs> wow. I just want to get one of these. I just want to get one of these kippers. What are these kippers talking about here? I feel like honor your process. Be very fluid. You're very magnetized. You know, don't be stuck in your ways. Okay. If you need help financially, get that help. If you need help in whatever the situation is, get that help. Hmm, that's interesting. I feel like some of you guys are going to have luck with like, Maybe you were like trying to get an answer from like a corporation or like a big business or something like that. And I feel like you're going to have luck. Luck is on your side. I feel like it wasn't on your side in the past, but it is. At this time, moving forward with this new moon energy. So just be mindful of that, okay? That luck is on your side. Real shit. Yeah, deception in reverse. They want you to feel like it's not, but it is. Success is on your side as well. <laughs> Let's get some more of these. Let's tap in. What are we? What is coming up here, Holy Spirit? Show me the messages that I need to see. Yeah, wow. Some of you guys, it was a courthouse. You were waiting on a decision from a courthouse. You're going to have some sort of good luck with that. Okay, have faith. What was that? Yeah, somebody showing up as a false person, a rat. This person is doing something behind your back. <clears throat> so that's coming out again. I'm going to grab my other cards. Hold on. Let's get some more of these. Yeah, somebody's been... Whatever you've been studying, that shit is about to pay off. You guys, with this, with this new moon, I'm telling you, whatever it is, it's about to pay off more greatly than you thought it would. Okay. And false person is also telling me, like, people, there's energies around you that are doing shit behind your back. They don't want you to believe that you're going to be successful. So they've been throwing, what do you call it, like, bones or problems or they've been throwing um, adversity your way. Or even if it's just wishing that things don't work out for you, right? There could be some feminine energies here that either I'm talking to or that are doing something behind your back. Either way. Feminine energy is here. That came out twice. Somebody's trying to block a marriage. Somebody doesn't want somebody to be married, but that's going to happen. I feel that. I feel that. I really feel that. So somebody could be talking to your person. It's like they know that that person is very interested in you. And that person is coming towards you. In the distant horizons, this person is coming towards you. This person is also watching you. This person's been watching how you work, watching how you... This person's been studying you. This person that wants to marry you. So it's like people are doing shit behind your back because they know that success is coming your way, money is coming your way, and this person is coming your way. Some of you guys. That's for some. That's not everybody. But that's for some. All right. 
Tell me more here, Holy Spirit. Yeah, community. I can't make this shit up. These people are mad in the community because of this good news that's coming towards you. These people are upset because a lot of them have been, you know, uh, talking shit about you and they haven't made nothing of them, their own lives is what I feel like. You know, this, this feels like a lot of jealousy. <clears throat> jealousy, jealousy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, adjudication. So, yeah, something is coming out in your favor or the way that you would like it to turn. There's going to be something favorable in court for you. Here, for some uh, um, people getting this message. Let me see. Hold on, what the hell? Let's get some more of these. Yeah, there's a lot of passion between you and somebody. This person is a true love connection. There's a lot of passion between you and somebody. And people just hate that shit, right? When they don't have that for themselves. So they wish... People that have love, they wish love for other people. People that don't have love, they wish that other people don't have love. Because they don't have it. And that's what I'm really just getting. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Just be happy. Just feel, stay in that vibration that you're in. Honor your process where you are, okay? I feel like you're doing great, you know? But you do got some haters in the back lurking, you know, very pissed off. <laughs> that you're going in the direction that you are and that you're being as successful, you know? Irregardless of what this hate or jealousy that they're sending. Okay? Yeah, deception. And also we have, I'll stay optimistic about your love life, Okay? So, whatever they've been sending, just stay optimistic about your love life. So, I promise you, baby, that shit ain't going to phase you. It ain't going to matter in the end. All right. Tell me what the soul want to talk to us about here. What does the soul have to say here? Adversity and acceptance. I feel like you're having so much success because you're not letting adversity stop you. You're not letting adversity stop you. It's your level of acceptance through adversity that's making you grow so quickly. I'm trying to tell you. Some people will take adversity and they'll use it as a cop-out, as a means to fuck up. And then some people will take adversity and they'll use it to strengthen them. And you're one of those people that's like, I'm hearing iron sharpens iron. You sharpen somebody. <clears throat> Even if it's just your damn self sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You're using whatever you got to use to make yourself a better person, a stronger person. Yeah. Also, I'm getting that you, you could be somebody who is, um, you're very much, whatever you do for a living, it's like you give service to other people. Because <clears throat> you feel good when you can help others. And don't stop doing that. You know what I mean? It's not like you serve, like, and you a fool about it. It's like you serve because you just like to help people. Okay? And... That's the bottom line. So whenever you're doing something for the right reasons, you know, never let nobody make you feel, you know, like you not, you know, coming from the right place. Because you are, I feel like. What's being hidden from those of us that are um, dealing with like a twin flame or soulmate connection? What's being hidden here? <clears throat> for those of us that are dealing with soulmate, twin, mate, uh, twin flame connection. Just being near you is intoxicating. Somebody feels like they don't know how to fucking be around you. So somebody could be... Somebody... I heard... I fumbled your heart. Because this person... They feel like... I don't know how to be around you... Without... Going all the way there. And somebody could feel like... They can't completely be with you... On the physical. And they probably feel like... I don't know. I don't feel like they fumbled your heart or like they pushed you away or something like that. But they're saying stay optimistic. You you may your energy is intoxicating. This is not just for your soulmate, your twin flame. This could be, this could also be people that you are, you know, don't have like that sexual connection with. This could be even people that you work with. Could feel like you're intoxicating. You know, you you make them like high. You know what I'm saying? Like you Put people on a high. Hello? Okay. Mm. Juicy. What else? It's time for me to heal now. You and I were too young. Also, I get that this, this person that um 
Some of you guys are soulmate connection. Y'all were too young to even know what love was. I mean, you knew what it was, but y'all was just too young to even really respect the union or whatever that brought you guys together. Also, I feel like you're helping your twin, your twin flame heal, you know. <clears throat> because a twin flame is all about two souls becoming one. So it's like, as you do stuff for yourself, you help that your counterpart um, also, you know, in their life to, so say you healing, right? For example, say you healing, you helping your counterpart heal by you healing. So maybe because of all of the intense healing that you've been through, okay, is what it's saying. Because of all of the intense healing that you've been through, you are now showing your twin flame, your soulmate connection, right? That it's okay to heal. And this person is now healing too. And that's good. I feel like this This is why this person is coming closer towards you. Because they, because of them watching you, they don't have no choice. Remember I told you they're watching you. Somebody is observing you. And they're they watching you, but they're not m making it seem like they're watching you. They could have even told you like, oh, I'm not watching you. I don't pay no attention to your social media. I don't, I don't even... What social media, basically, right? But they clearly are watching. Clearly. Okay. What do the angels, the guides, have to say to you at this time? For those of us getting this new moon message, what are the, uh, what are the messages for all of us here? What do our angels want to tell us? What do our ancestors... What does the Most High want to tell us so that we can be more abundant in our life? Hold on, let me put this back. So that we can be more abundant. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you're trying to show us? What is it that you're trying to show us? Focus on your priorities and savings. Some of you guys are going to start making more money than you ever thought that you could, you would be able to make. Okay. And that's just real talk. So get ready to be more. Excuse me. I got to wipe this. Get ready to be more successful than you, you have in the past. Okay. And to also focus on your priorities. Don't focus on nothing that doesn't matter right now. Don't focus on how people are trying to make you feel, especially if they're trying to make you feel weird and shit or less than or like you're not as successful as you are. Or even if you're looking at your bank account and you're like, damn, I want more than what I have. Don't focus on what you don't have because focusing on what you don't have is going to attract more of what you don't want. Focus on what you want at this time. All right. And save is it says constantly save. <clears throat> this is a part of your self-care and a path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Okay, some of you guys are getting to a space where now you can start to save more and you can start to do things that you want to do so that you can become more abundant. Like, some of you guys, it's like, you have like, by day I'm this, by night I'm this. You know, like, type of thing. Like, you becoming more self-sufficient and realizing that there's more to life than just working a nine to five, you know, real shit. All right. And so now you're starting to save up for your career paths, the things that you know you were meant to do in life, right? Not just work this nine to five. Like now you're taking a nine to five and you are using it to, you know, maybe like, uh, what do you call that shit? Like moonlight into your, your next career path or life purpose path, you know, something like that. Right. So, Pay attention to your um, your savings right now, okay? There's going to be opportunities for you to save more and really, like, get the ball rolling on that for some of us here. All right? Let me get one more. Oh, they say have an abundant mindset. No more, oh, I don't have enough money. I only have, I'm, I'm without, I'm homeless. I only have this. I don't have that. No more of that. Have an abundance mindset. It says, if you think of abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, and think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience, okay? Like this, I've seen, um... 
this uh, patron wrote me and said, I don't have a place. I'm homeless. And it's like, okay, that sentence right there, you basically will manifest more homelessness. But if you say, I'm taken care of, then you have more of that. I have a place to stay. Then you have more of that, right? So it's all about what you speak into your life. It's all about that. What you think. Because what a man saith, he will be. What a man thinketh, he will be. She, whatever you want to call it, okay? That's what you will be. And it's not being Delulu, but to a certain degree, you do have to have faith. And faith is delusional because to a certain degree, you can't really see certain things, but you believe in it like God. You believe in God because you know that you're the tangible flesh of the God that you believe in. So you believe in it, right? And you know that all of the, the works that you do are godly, right? So it helps to you further know that God exists, right? Right? And so, for example, so I feel like, remember that what you say, what you speak will definitely um, come to fruition, all right? What you think, all of that, that matters in what you're man how you manifest, Okay? You can't be thinking, oh, uh, I want to manifest myself out of a situation where I don't have a place to stay into a place to stay by thinking about the not having a place to stay. You can't manifest that way. You understand what I'm saying? That makes sense to y'all. Let me get some more cards. We're going to keep going, but let me get some more. Damn, I hope I ain't show y'all my booty cheek. Let me get some more cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so just be mindful of what you're thinking how you feeling all right and clear the vessel when they say clear the vessel they're talking about your thoughts when they say clear the vessel they're talking about what you're saying how you how are you speaking to the universe because what you say is what it will be what you think it is what it will be. <clears throat> and people who manifest and actually get results, y'all know what it is to feel like completely delulu, but I get everything that I fucking manifest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So y'all know what it is. Now, people who don't, and y'all kind of new to this practice, you know. <laughs> It may feel strange. It may feel different. But that's a part of it. That's a part of learning the shit, right? All right? How to truly manifest, all right? It's supposed to feel like that. But once you make it a habit, okay? I feel like there's somebody out here for y'all. Some. This is only for some of y'all. There's somebody out here. Look at these fucking mice came out again. You had first you had the rat. Now you got the mice. Look at this shit. What did this card say? Yeah, somebody wants you to be worried. Somebody wants you to waste. That's also why you like over you could be overspending because it's like that could be part of the energy that they send to you. Like all of what you get, may you not be successful, may you waste it, may you not know how to handle it, stuff like that. So in, instead, what you do is take that energy and now be more conscious of what you have, you know, so that people can't try to reduce that or take that away, you know, or insert their fear. Also cleanse, y'all. We got these mice out here. Some of y'all need to cleanse. They, they said clear the vessel. Some of y'all need to cleanse. 
This is about cleansing. As y'all see me earlier, like before we had, um, we were going in and everything, like I was talking about clearing the vessel. Clearing the vessel is all about cleansing, you know? Stay cleanly. Uh, whenever you get this message and just moving forward, okay? Stay very clean. What is a different role you'll be playing? What is a different role that you're going to be playing? What is a different hat that you're going to be playing? Enjoyment. Being present. Mm, 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 mm. So some of you guys, you're coming out of a space of where you were in a really down time. Okay. Pre the new moon. Pre new moon. But now you're going into a space where you're really starting to... Um, become more resilient and you're lifting yourself out of a negative space okay and you're really finding a, a, a space um in an energy where it, you know with your energy that you're more lightness you you have more lightness about your being and about your person and who you are that's one of the roles new roles you'll be playing let me get another message about that the new roles you'll be playing. Thank you. Look at that sun. Yes. Power. Fulfilled. Success. Oh, look at this. In a fucking victory. So I don't know what you've been up against. But you're coming out of that shit victoriously. And people are pissed. Ain't no ifs, ands, or but about it. They're upset about it, guys. All right. Because of this victory. Because they know that once you took back your power, that you were going to be granted victory. And I feel like you just, overall, you're going to be feeling more happy. That's one of the main positions that you're going to be taking on with this um, new moon is what it's saying. Yeah, Archer. Be more precise, okay? And implement a strategy about how to maintain this happiness. Don't, don't just get it, but how to maintain what you have. Okay, you have a lot of development that's happening within you. That's happening gradually over time. And someone looks at you like, damn, mm, you yummy. It's like you've aged well over time. Whoever this person that wants to marry you, somebody wants to marry you, but they're not telling you they want to marry you. I just heard a stalker alert. This person is watching you, y'all. Yeah, could be possible air sign for some of you guys. During the spring is saying possibly for some. Neptune, ruler of enlightenment, inspiration. I'm trying to tell you, you inspire. Whoever this person is that's watching you, you are inspiring the fuck out this person that want to marry you. This person is extremely inspired by you. It's like whatever you did in the beginning, it's like you've gotten better at it and they can't help but to see it. They can't help, you know, they can't deny it that you're not who you who you were, you know, when you when you two first met, when you were younger. They can't help but to admit, yo, you've changed and they really like what they see. Somebody feels like <clears throat> some of you guys could be possible writers. Some of you guys are writers. Some of you guys, that's what's going to bring you wealth and success in the future. Let me just put that out there. That's for some. Now, for, for others, right, the message that I'm getting here with this marriage card is that someone looks at you like you're mysterious and they don't really know what's going on with you. It's like they know that you inspire them. They know that you are better and you're in a much more positive space. Um, that you're growing and your personal development is real. You know, someone sees that. They know that. They respect that. Um, but they also just, someone feels like you give them like mystery. Like they can't quite figure you out. Okay. 
you give off this mystery like they can't exactly figure you out hmm tell me about the adjudication card what is adjudication here communication compromise and overcoming barricades barriers excuse me barricades so whatever whatever uh barrier that you was having the adjudication is going to help you to overcome that okay someone feels like they're on borrowed time okay this could be the person that's coming towards you this could also be the demons they feel like they're on on borrowed time because demons are generally have like a a contractual they, they, they usually have a contract with time. Like they have to do something by a certain amount of time. And if they time run out, then, you know, that's it. They don't get no extra time to like destruct and cause chaos. That's not how it goes, right? <clears throat> All right. Yeah, wow. I didn't ask for this card though. Hold on. Somebody's revealing something or realizing something about you i'm trying to tell you this is what making somebody come towards you because they're realizing that you know something is being revealed to someone like who you are what you're meant to be this person is getting like an aha moment a moment of clarity this could be definitely people who doubted you in the past all right <clears throat> it's like wow so it could be more than one person that doubted you. Real shit. It could be like a whole community of people. Not going to hold you. Um, what's toil and labor? What's toil and labor? What's toil and labor? Hey, if you didn't fail, how would you know what it feels like to win? How would you know when you won? You had to fail. You had to fuck it up the first time. You had to not be successful the first time. Or you had to come out of whatever the fuck you had to come out of to get to this spot. That's for somebody. I need to tell you that. Hmm. Toil and labor. Look what came out for toil and labor, y'all. <laughs> toil and labor. Didn't I tell you somebody's watching you? garden somebody's watching you create the garden of life in your life these, these public crowds or your audience they're your your community you let me tell you you got a lot of suitors you got a lot of people that's gonna want to be with you somebody could be um age 38 could be significant here age 28 could be significant 20 <clears throat> It's a lot of people that want want to uh, be with you. You have that's why I feel like this person feels miss like you give this person mystery because it's like <clears throat> you could be with any person in the world, but you choose that person, and they could be with any person in the world, but they choose you. But it's like I'm getting like two people that not giving each other like. The idea that they want to be together. Because somebody could have pushed somebody away. I'm getting that here. Somebody could have pushed somebody away. And it could have made the other person feel like, well, you know, I got to accept that. Like, you know, something like that. Like, they had to just accept that. That's what that acceptance is about. And it's, it, it made this other person go, you know, Push themselves into work, push themselves into their life purpose, push themselves into service, whatever. You know, to kind of fo not focus on the twin flame connection, the soulmate connection, but more so on the life purpose, right? Path. And that's fine. But again, somebody's light bulb is finally clicking. Somebody's finally realizing, hey, you are the one for me. Not gonna hold you here. Whew. What's the marriage card? I already did that. Hold on. What's the good news with the tulips? What's the good news? Yep, romance. Divine feminine. I could be talking to the divine feminine here. You know intuitively that somebody wants you. 
you know that somebody's about to come bring you some good news. Look at this. Look what it said. This is the good news. Love. Come on, G. Come on. Hello. Desire, joy, bliss, affection, fulfillment, kindness, forgiveness. Because somebody fucking pushed you away. Contentment, passionate, and caring. This person is a problem solver. I could be talking to a mutable sign. Somebody who's... This person, when they come into your life, this is how you're going to know them. They're going to be very resourceful. They're going to be able to do stuff very clever. Very creative. This person asks us a lot of questions. It's like, and they're good at solving problems. That's how you also know them when they come into your life. Damn, I feel like this reading is getting a little lengthy, y'all. <clears throat> This is some last uh, new moon messages here concerning this. Mm. So somebody could definitely be. <laughs> somebody could definitely be manifesting this relationship. We got out the clovers. Something didn't work. And it's like you're manifesting something else. And that's a part of honoring the process. When this person rejected you, a part of honoring the process is, to, well, if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to make something else work in my life. I'm not going to focus on that someone rejected me. I'm going to focus on what I do have, what is working for me, right? <laughs> It made this person want you more because of that. Hello? Wow. Look what fell out. I'm done. I'm done with this reading. Happy happy new moon, y'all. This person want to marry you. Whoever you are. I can't make this shit up. Diamond ring, proposal, engagement, agreement, next level, promise, partnership, statement of intent, marriage and union. Hello? See anybody out there? But I love you so much. Look what's at the Look what's at the bottom of the deck with the tarot. I didn't even pull not one tarot card, not one. For some of y'all, I'm trying to tell you you bring it in a partnership. The fact that you rejected somebody makes somebody want you more. It makes that person want you more. Cuz they was like, "Well, let me see how this person did with my rejection." And you did really good. Because <laughs> it made this person want you more. Wow. So. Yeah. Look. Look what's at the bottom of that. You're going to have to forgive this person. You're going to have to forgive that person because. <clears throat> when they come forward. They're going to tell you everything that they did. Everywhere where they fucked up and all of that. And they're going to let you know, like, look. And you're going to forgive that person because you're going to realize, like, wow. You know? And you can look back at this reading, you know, to let you know, you know, that all of what you were thinking, all of the messages that you were receiving were right. Let's get some tarot messages. I mean, let's fuck it, right? Let's definitely get at least a message here, Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah queen of pentacles you're focusing on your money your resources being successful being just being practical you're focused on that and you're being very successful you, you have a lot of success because of that because some of you guys like i said you're in your life purpose and your life purpose always brings you abundance not just the material kind but love as well Mat uh, material abundance abundance and love Abundance of happiness, you know, fulfillment. Okay. What is the Queen of Pentacles and why is it here? What is the significance of the Queen of Pentacles in this particular reading? Page of Pentacles. This is new to everybody that's in this connection. Some of y'all about to get a new job, though. This Page of Pentacles is talking about a new money. All of this money, these Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Y'all, what did I say? Wealth? Success, 
That's what the pinnacles represent. Money. What is the page of pinnacles? Three of pinnacles. Startup seeds. Seeds towards. Remember I said you put you starting to invest in yourself. Other people are going to start investing in you as well. This, whatever this service is. So don't be afraid to venture out and, you know, capitalize on it. Ace of Cups. Because you've healed something within you. And now you can actually, like, you know, I'm not saying, you know, it's all about commerce. It's all about money. It's all about this. It's not. Because a lot of it, for you that's getting these readings, um, y'all had so much healing to do in order to reach certain victories and certain... Uh, high spaces, peaks, and stuff that you had to you had to go in in those valleys and those lows to get to where you are. You know, but your whatever it is that you you know your past, it's your testimony. Let that pain be your testimony. Some of y'all, like I said, you might write a book or something, or or just. Give your advice or whatever it is, and it's gonna pay off for you. In whatever way that you do that, whether it be a book, whether it be just giving advice, whether it be pulling cards, I don't know. But the sky's the limit on that. All right, the sky is the limit. All right, on that. I can't make it up. Look at six of wands to the four of cups to the fool to the magician. They're gonna spell work right there. You decided that a long time ago that if I get something I don't need, I can always make something new. I can always reinvent. I can always upcycle this. And that's what you're doing. That's what's making you truly so successful. That's why people around you, those demons, they're running. Because they're realizing that you've used them even to help you heal and become a better person and you face them so that now you can cast them out they're not just running but you've cast them out that's why they have to run time's up with them time's up somebody could have thought like i'm also getting to somebody person thought like that you was doing some sort of spell work on them and they had to they had to realize that it wasn't spell work Love isn't spell work. True love isn't spell work. My, my ear is ringing. Yeah. Somebody felt like you had like a spell on them. But you didn't. You never put no spell on this person. You, you just are a very magical person. I can't make this shit up. And... It just so happens that when you manifest something, it really comes to fruition. 4822. Like, it really does. And I don't think you were putting a spell on anybody. I think that you was more focused on your health, your healing, becoming a better person. And, you know, becoming a straight shooter. You was just working on your own self, your own strategy, just who you are. The archer. I'll be talking to a Sagittarius. I'll be talking to somebody who's just very focused. <clears throat> Excuse me. So somebody did feel like that you had some sort of spell work on them. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is why somebody fell back. Because they was like, damn, is this real? Or is this the spell work that you're doing on me? And then they had an aha moment. They realized, nah, you ain't got no spell work on me. Because they realized, like, how you powerful, they realized, I'm too powerful for somebody to have that type of shit on me. Somebody can't do that to me. Even if they try, they, they spell work wouldn't work on me because I'm that powerful. And then, so right there, created with this person, this twin flame, they started to realize, holy shit. So all of the things this person been telling me, boom, 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 boom. That's why this person wants is going to want forgiveness because they're going to realize, like, damn, 
I've just been pushing you away. And you're going to forgive them because you've already done the work to accept and acceptance and learning that acceptance is, is look, I can't change. I can't. If somebody doesn't, if somebody rejects me, somebody pushes me away, whatever, I can't change it. All I could do is move forward. And right then and there, you knew not to force nothing. You don't force nothing. With, with magic, you never had to force it. It just is. That's what I was saying. It just either it is or it ain't. Ain't that what I said in the beginning? And this whole community is starting to see. Because I feel like somebody in the community might have started this rumor. Like, oh, they got a spell on you. They working this magic, blah, blah, blah. And that's how, that's why you're so attracted to this person. And in all actuality, they just didn't want this person to find their twin flame. Because everybody doesn't find a twin flame. And everybody doesn't have a twin flame. A twin flame is when... Two people, you know, are out there in the world and they when they get together, they become one, one soul. You understand? So meaning when these two energies are not connected, there's a disconnect in the whole universe, a rift. So that's why you always see the twin flame is always trying to come together so that they can become one. <laughs> That was written in the cosmos. I don't, I don't know. I, I, this, this message is lengthy as shit. I hope y'all uh, watched the whole thing. But I love you. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Happy uh, new moon. <laughs>